Eep, eep. I am from another planet. I just landed on this third planet from the sun in this Milky Way. Eep, eep. I am confused. I am confused. What are these I'm stepping on? Why are some things very tall? Some are very low and wet and dry. Are these living things or non-living things? Help! 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 Are my eyes kidding me? Is that a real life alien on Earth? I come in peace. Please help. Where uh, am I? Uh, what are you doing here? We're on Earth. I am exploring in this planet in Milky Way. Ah, then perhaps together with me, we can explore together with Teacher Nina. You must come with me. Teacher Nina? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. TV KPM Hello, Assalamualaikum, Salam Sejahtera A very good morning to all of you You're watching as usual your favourite show Teroka at Didi TV KPM I'm Shafika Farahin Razali And today we'll be learning a very, 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 very interesting subject Because as you may see just now kids We learned about aliens but it's not quite right Today, we're learning something very close to us. Things we see every day, things we touch, things we feel with our feet or maybe our shoes. But today, we're focusing on science, the Earth. And before that, let me please remind you, as usual, we haven't won against COVID-19. So please, kids, practice your SOP always. Wear your face mask like I'm wearing right now. Wash your hands frequently and practice an SOP of at least one meter space distancing. Right now, let's introduce our teacher first in the studio with us. It's none other than Teacher Nina. Hello, Assalamualaikum, Teacher. Waalaikum Salam, Shafika. How Hello, are you? everyone. Hello, Earthlings and other forms of living things from any galaxy. Yes, I love your googly eyes just now. So funny and so nice. Okay, so today, Shafika, mm -hmm. we are actually going to learn about the Earth. Mm -hmm. What we have on Earth, actually. So we are learning uh. science for level one, mm -hmm. the Earth. Ah, I'm so excited to learn as well because as you can see in front of us here, there's a lot of, well, a combination of things I usually see in my daily life. And we're going to get down our hands dirty to touch them and try figure out perhaps more about that and explore more. Okay, right, teacher uh, Nina, before we start, uh, you're very popular in our show. You've been here so many times. You can introduce yourself first. Okay. Hello everyone again. Hello Earthly. <laughs> My name is Teacher Nina Nur Halina binti Abdul Rahman. I am a science teacher in Sekolah Kebangsaan Putrajaya Persin 1811. And this year is my 15th year teaching. Wow, that's a long time, teacher. And for your information, for uh, students out there, today we're learning in DLP or dual language program. That means we'll be speaking English for the rest of the show. Right before we further wasting any more time, let's introduce our six lovely pupils online. Hello, everyone. Assalamualaikum. Hi. Hi. Okay, wow, everyone is looking super fresh this morning. Have everyone had their breakfast? Yes? Yes. Ah, great. Okay, Kapika would like to know all of you, but first perhaps we can start with Isaac. Hi, Isaac. Hi, Kak Shafiq, Shafika and Teacher Nina. My name is Ahmad Isaac Jufri bin Muhammad Izwan. You can call me Isaac. Ah, okay, so Isaac is from uh, Sekolah SK, Sekolah Kebangsaan Putrajaya Present 18.1, right? Everyone else is from the same yes, school, right? Yes, from the same school. Okay, great. Can next, Kapika, have Arisa. Hello, Arisa. Good morning. Good morning, teacher. Hi, Kak Shafika. Hello. Hi, Nina. 
Assalamualaikum everyone. My name is Arisa Mansara binti Abdul Muaz. You can call me Arisa. Thank you Arisa. I love the color of your shawl. All right. Next, can we have on the line Zuhri? Hello Zuhri. Can you introduce yourself? I got Safika and teacher Nini. Assalamualaikum everyone. My name is Zuhri Nova bin Muhammad. No. You can call me Zuhri. Okay, Zuhri. Thank you so much for that. What a lovely name. Next, can we have Nazim, please? Hi, Kak Safika and teacher Nina. Assalamualaikum everyone. My name is Muhammad Nazim Hamidan bin Yuzairo. You can call me Nazim. Okay, Nazim. Thank you so much. All right, next, can we have Akif? Hello, Akif. Good morning. Hi, Kak, Sh Hi, Kak Shafika. Hello. Can you Hi, introduce yourself? Uh, Hi, Kak. Kak Shafika. <laughs> Shafika. Uh huh. <laughs> Maybe he's the worst. It's okay. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam, Akif. Okay. Akif, what's your full name, Akif? My name, my name is Akizakwan. Akizakwan. Akizakwan Ben Muhammad Fadiru. Wow. You, you can call me Akif. Akif. Thank okay. you, Akif. Wow. What a lovely introduction. And then next, last but not least, can we have Muhammad? Hello, Muhammad. Hi, Akka Shafika and Teacher Nina. Assalamualaikum, everyone. My name is Muhammad Fatrahman Berishes Marazamili. You can call me Muhammad. Ah, okay, Muhammad. Thank you so much. Thank you, lovely pupils, for introducing yourself. I hope everyone is ready to learn with Teacher Nina today. Are you ready? Can you give a thumbs up? Yay. Okay, thank you so much. Right, Teacher Nina, I'm sure they're very excited to learn today and I'm having a lovely time today with you already. Okay. So perhaps you can uh, introduce a bit what we're going to start exploring. Okay, for mm -hmm. today's lesson, we are going to learn about the Earth and okay. there are actually two things that we are going to learn. Mm -hmm. okay, if we can see here the learning outcomes that we are going to learn, the first one is about the surface of the Earth. Eight landforms that we will explore, wow. okay? Mm -hmm. And then we will also learn the types of soils. We have three types of soils. Mm -hmm. What are they? Stay tuned. Okay. So, soils and also the land forms. Land forms, yes. That's it. Perhaps maybe yeah. you can give a hint of what we can see oh. almost every day. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, it depends on where you are living. If you are living in a high land, mm -hmm. maybe you're living actually on a hill. Oh. Or maybe mountain. What's what? the difference between a mountain and a hill? Hmm, I'm not too sure, Teacher Nina. Oh. What is it? And here we are mm -hmm. in Sri Pentas, in Damansara. We are actually in a valley. Valley? Do you know what's a valley? Is it a uh, that's not so high? A land that's uh -huh. not so high? Is it true? We are going to learn after this. Okay, ah. so Teacher Nina is giving a bit of a mystery <laughs> here. But never mind, there comes more excitement with that. Um, before that, Teacher, I, I think uh, with me, when I go out of my house, mm -hmm. I see mountains and hills. Mm -hmm. But I never know the difference because it looks almost similar. Yes, it ah. looks almost similar. And imagine if you are actually living on a mountain, you see a lot of things. Yeah, and hmm. it's quite different from where we are living now in the valley. Right. Ah. So that means mm, if the mountain is at the top, the valley must be a bit at the bottom, ah. right? <laughs> okay, ah. you're getting it. You're I'm getting it. I'm trying to dig a bit of information <laughs> from you. But pupils, never mind. Next, we are going to learn more about landforms and also soil with Teacher Nina and Kapika. So I'll see you after this. We're going for a short break on Teroka Didik TV KPM. See you then. Didik TV KPM. Didik TV KPM.
Tasik Kenyeri Terengganu is the largest man-made lake in Malaysia and the whole of Southeast Asia. While Tasik Bera in Pahang is the largest natural lake in our country. Hello everyone, my name is Anu Husna and today I am going to show you 8 land farms that we have on earth. Come on, let's go! Mountain Hill Lake Pond River Valley Beach Sea Now can you remember all the eight land farms? That's all for me. Bye! Welcome back to Terokedidik TV KPM. You're still with me, Kak Pika and also teacher Nina today to learn about the Earth. Uh, specifically, exploring more on science. And just now, I had a fun time with Husna teacher yeah. exploring the landforms on Earth. And there's so many. Yes. And they look almost similar. Okay. Ah, to explore more on that, pupils online, are you ready to learn once again? Can you give Kak Pika a thumbs up? Is it? Yeah, ah, okay. okay, thank you very much. All right, Teacher Nina, you yes. can proceed with our exploration today. Okay, for our first exploration, we are going to learn eight landforms on Earth. So after this, I really hope everyone will be more observant mm -hmm. and you will know, oh, I'm on a mountain. Oh. Hey, this is a river. Eh, this is a lake, not a pond. Mm -hmm. Ah, so we will be exploring together. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think it will be better if okay. um, the kids, ah, the online kids right now, they have done mm -hmm. uh, their homework, they have done their exploration. So they have searched on the internet, they have asked their parents and friends about the landforms on Earth. So okay. they've already studied before yes, this? Yes, of course. Okay. Ah, so this is why we call it Teroka Exploration. Mm -hmm. So they explored first and now let's hear what they have searched. Okay. okay, first of all, Arisa. Arisa, what are you going to share with us? Please, Arisa. This is a mountain wow. and a hill. Okay. They are higher than hills. Ah, okay. Thank you, Arisa. Thank you, Arisa. Mountain so, and hill. It seems that that's the difference. Yes. Ah. Okay. If you can look here, I have a simple model here. Mm -hmm. Ah, the behind here, the two brownish ones are actually the mountains. And the green ones are the hills. Okay, first, uh, Arisa told us that mountains are higher mm -hmm. or taller than the hills. And one more that you can probably see is that the peaks. The peaks. Ah, mountains have prominent peaks. That means you can see them protruding very obviously. Okay, see? Oh. Ah, but hills, usually they don't have prominent peaks. Um, Peak, see, uh, like it's just like that. Ah, uh, it's ah, rounded a bit. Yeah, it's a bit rounded. Okay. Ah, so that's the difference besides the height of mountain and hill. Uh, okay. Nice. Now I would like to ask: mm -hmm. um, Has anyone been to a mountain or a hill? Uh, ah, can anybody tell? Raising their hand. Ah, Who is that? Who's Nazim. Who Nazim. Okay, Nazim. Okay. I have been to Mount Kinabalu in Sabah. Okay. Oh, okay. The Mount, Kinabalu. Yeah, Mount Kinabalu. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mount Kinabalu is the highest mountain in Malaysia and Southeast Asia. Uh, yes. Wow. Oh, okay. So that did you go hiking, Nazim? Did you go up the mountain or just at the bottom? Did you go up? Yeah, okay. Oh, great. Okay. Alright, okay. What a lovely experience. Uh, anyone else? Maybe a hill? Me teacher. Ah, okay. Uh, I believe that's Muhammad. Yes, it is. Okay, Muhammad? Mm-hmm. 
teacher my family and I like to go hiking in Melati Hill in Negeri Sembilan. Oh, oh Melati wow. Hill in Negeri Sembilan. I okay, see. he likes to go hiking. That means uh, it's not really high up. Uh, so kids like uh, Muhammad mm -hmm. uh, and his family can go hiking there. Mm -hmm. oh, that's a really good sharing, Muhammad. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Okay, next, mm -hmm. ah, we are going to hear from Akif. Akif, what do you want to share us? What have you found out? Mm. This is a river. Mm -hmm. Water uh -huh. flow mm -hmm. from the mountain or Hills to, to, to work the sea. Ah, okay. All right. Thank you, Akif. Okay. So you see here we have also mm -hmm. ah the river. As you can see here, the river flows from a mountain or a hill towards the, the sea. sea. Ah. Right. Okay. okay. Very interesting. Is that right, Teacher Nina? Yes, it is. Ah, ah. Good finding. <laughs> good job. <laughs> good job, Akif. Okay. So, has anyone been to a river before? Mm -hmm. Ah, river. Me, Teacher. Ah, who I is love... that? Zuri. Zuri, right? Okay, Zuri. I love to swim in the river when I go back to my hometown in Johor. Oh, oh, that's lovely. That's a lovely experience. Swimming in the river. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, Teacher Nina, yeah. uh, maybe uh, the pupils would like to help us. Mm -hmm. We see people doing at the river. Ah, what ah. is this? What do people do at the river? They swim. Sometimes they... Ah. When there's a lot of fish. Ah, what, what do is they that? do? Raise your hand. Who wants to try? Ah, what do people do at the river? <laughs> okay, never mind. Kapika, give you the answer. Maybe they were too busy swimming. Yeah, they're too busy swimming. They couldn't care about people yes. fishing. Yes, yes. fishing. Uh -huh. ah. So usually at sea, do people fish, Teacher Nina? Yeah, I've seen people fish at the sea ah. um, leisurely. Leisurely, ah. okay. Yes. Interesting fact, yep. all right? Okay, mm -hmm. now we are going to learn one more thing, one more landform. Can we hear from Nazim? Nazim? Okay, Nazim. Aha, what's that? Maybe, Nazim, you can show it closer to the camera? Okay, Nazim. Okay. Ah, all right. Oh, I can see okay. that. All right, what is that, Nazim? Valley. It is a long way, lowland. It means also. Ah, okay. So Nazim told us about valleys. Mm -hmm. Okay, valleys are correct, Nazim. Valleys are actually lowlands between mountains or hills. <gasps> that means ah. we are here. Oh, are we are in actually between, between mountains. mountains or hills. Oh, ah, wow. we are. Um, Klang Valley is. Um, in uh, at the foot of Titi Wangsa mm -hmm. Range. Ah. Okay, because we are in the Klang Valley, so yes. the name is Klang Valley. Klang Valley. Okay. Okay. If you can see here from this model, uh, mm -hmm. it can be between here, uh, in the middle here, or between here is also valley. Okay. Ah, okay. Can anyone name any valleys that you have been to, except for Klang Valley? You cannot say Klang Valley anymore. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who okay. would like to Anyone answer? Anyone wants to try? Me, teacher. Oh, okay. Is that Isaac? Yes. Okay, Isaac. Mm -hmm. Teacher, when I go back to my father's hometown in Sabah, we often visit a place called Kundasang. It is a very beautiful valley at the foot of Mount Kinabalu. Wow. Okay, Mount Kinabalu again. Okay. We should go Mount Kinabalu one day. <laughs> the kids love Mount Kinabalu. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> now we are going to speed things up. Okay, now right. let's talk about the beach. Mm -hmm. Ah, Okay, Isaac, again, can you tell us about the beach? What do you know about a beach? Okay. This yes, is a beach. It is at the cold coast of the sea 
and usually made of sand, pebbles, and tiny rocks. Ah, I think wow. Malaysians are familiar, so familiar with beaches. Yes, there's so many beaches in Malaysia. Yeah. What's, which one is your favourite beach, uh, Isaac? Okay, Isaac, can you tell us your favourite beach? Mm -hmm. Isaac? Tanjung Hau Sabah. Tanjung Hau ah, Sabah. Sabah again. <laughs> Sabah again. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, last but not least, uh, Isaac said something about beach and the sea. Mm -hmm. Okay, we want to hear from Zuri. What can you tell us about the sea? Okay, Zuri. This is a sea. It is body of salty water and it's a smaller part of ocean. Ah, okay. The sea is a body of salty water. Mm -hmm. ah, maybe Zuri has tasted salt at uh, the sea. Yes. Ah? <laughs> Perhaps during swimming, then you suddenly accidentally ah, tasted. Accidentally. It. Nobody wants to drink sea water it's purposely. It's so salty. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe someone would want to try and answer one question. Do you know the name of the sea? that surrounds Malaysia. Ah, ah, have you heard of the name of the sea that surrounds Malaysia? Okay, who wants okay. to try? Wah. Ah, oh, okay, Nazim. Okay, Nazim, Nazim wants to try. Okay, Nazim. Go ahead. Yes, South, South China, China Sea. Brilliant. Good, Good job. job. Okay. Teacher Nina, I have a question. Yes. Because uh, just now, I think uh, Isaac mentioned about the sea and the ocean. Is there a difference? Oh, yes. Ah. Actually, the sea is a part of the ocean. Oh. Ocean is wider. It's ah. wider and sea is only a part. Only a part of it. Okay. Ah. Thank you for that. Okay. Now I know. <laughs> All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now you have learned about the eight landforms on Earth. I hope everyone will remember that really, really well. Okay? Okay, Teacher Nina, perhaps from our students as well, maybe they can give uh, an example of another place like the pond. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Sometimes right. at home, uh -huh. I see people have like a small, um, uh, nice landscape at their home, which is filled with water. Is that considered a pond? Ah, ah. ponds or lakes. Uh -huh. Yeah, actually. Okay, I think uh, maybe we have time from Muhammad. Yes. Muhammad, can you tell us about uh, Kak Shafika asked can about you lake and pond. Uh -huh. Muhammad, can you please help her? <laughs> this is a lake and this is a pond. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. The lake is larger and deeper than a pond. Ah, okay. lake is larger and deeper than a pond. Oh, okay. ah, so that's the difference. And some lakes are man-made. Oh, um, most ponds that we see, maybe they are also man-made. Man -made For example, well. ponds in school, ponds at oh, home, right. uh, but they are also natural ponds. I see. Ah. So natural ponds are usually in the forest. Ah, yeah. Sometimes you can find natural ponds in the forest or some lowlands valleys. I ah. see. Wow. Okay, that's very <laughs> exciting to know. Thank you, Teacher Nina and Muhammad for explaining that to Kapika. Are we going for a short break first because we're going to explore more on this topic which is the earth. Alright, kids? So we'll be right back on Teroka. We'll see you in a bit. Dede TV KPM Dede TV KPM Rocks break down through a process called weathering and form soil. It takes more than 500 years to have 1 inch of topsoil. Everyone, my name is Noah. Do you know there are three types of soils? Number one, sand. Number two, clay. Number three, golden soils. Uh -huh. Now, can you name these soils? Let's try. What is this? Yes, you are right. Clay. What about this? Mm-hmm. Right. Sands. Last one. What's this? 
collects garden soil. Okay, that's all. Bye. I see Malaysia. Wow, so small. All right, kids, we're back on Troka Diri TV KPM, and today we're learning more, exploring more about the Earth. And before we start, Ah uh, Kapika have a question for pupils online and also at home. What do you guys like to do when you were smaller? Perhaps even now, do you like to go outside and play with the earth? Like the sand or in front of your homes? I'm pretty sure you do because I do when I was younger. And teacher Nina, are we going to do exactly that today? Aha! Uh -huh. So <laughs> now we are going to explore the different types of soils. Mm -hmm. Like the video you saw just now, maybe before this you know the different types based on the colour. Yes. So you can see maybe clay is a bit reddish brown and sand is light brown and garden soil is darker color mm. okay blackish or dark brown so now we are going to explore the contents of each type of soil okay so in front of here we have uh, three different types of soils mm -hmm. and pupils in uh, the online pupils they have also you can uh, get ready with your explorations as well we let's do it together okay okay here i have two types of sands mm -hmm. ah this one is taken from the beach Ah, this one is from, um, not from the beach, <laughs> someplace else, but still sand. Okay. So, um, what we are going to do is we are going to put it on um, white paper so that we can see. Ah. The difference. Yes, the difference. Ah. You can use um, your magnifying glass and also okay. a forcep. You can strain or look at the things. What are we wow. looking for, Teacher Nina? So, okay. Maybe mm -hmm. we cannot just compare. Let's compare. I think it will be better if we compare, right? Yes, let's okay. do that. So this mm -hmm. one, reddish one, is clay. Ah, so I'm going to pour it on this paper. Okay. If you can see, wow, it's that looks finer. very fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And what's more fun actually, Shafika? Yes. I have the wet version oh, of a no. clay. Oh my god! This is gonna be so interesting. Ooh, I wish I I could. Like, you know, play with it. Ooh, <laughs> suddenly, it I'm me sure reminds me of my childhood. Exactly. I'm sure the pupils <laughs> online are having uh, so much fun as well. Yes. Okay, now this is garden soil. Oh my, wow. I see something interesting here. Okay. I am scared of something <laughs> moving. <laughs> no, 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 nothing is moving. I Everything hope. is okay. I Just hope. Soil. Okay. <laughs> All right, so. While we are doing this exploration, let's hear from our friends. Um, Arisa, ah, can you share with us your findings about the type of soil you have done there? We have explored. Okay, Arisa? Okay, Arisa. Well, she has the same thing too. Oh. Mm -hmm. I have some twigs and mm -hmm. dry leaves. In oh. my garden soil. Ah, yes, I have twigs too. Mm -hmm. Twigs and also dry leaves. Okay, I'm going to show this. Ah, ah. twigs and dry leaves. Yes. Interesting. Ah, okay. What about Akif? Akif, do you find any interesting things in your soil? Okay. I have. I have twig. And dry leaf too. Mm -hmm. And I see stone as as well. Ah, stones. Ah. Yes, he saw oh. some twigs. Ah, Kakasha mm. Fika, see what I found. Yes, I saw that and I was a bit scared. Ah, okay. What is that, uh, kid? Okay, this is decaying animal. Oh my god, you can see it's a part of a snail. Right. The shell of a snail. There's no snail inside here. There's just uh, soil in there. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is a decaying uh, right. animal. Okay, now um, let's hear from Zuri. I okay. believe Zuri has a different type of soil. Hey Zuri, can you share with us your finding? That looks lighter. Ginger, I have sand here. I can only 
I can only see stone and sand repeated. Ah, okay. Hmm. Sand, yes, correct. I also see the same things. Mm -hmm. uh, there is only uh, small particles, soil particles and also small stones. Yes, yeah, small, small stones. stones uh, especially if you look at the sand from the beach. Ah. That's why sometimes, teacher, when I go to the beach, mm -hmm. my feet hurts if I'm barefoot. <laughs> if I don't wear any shoes, it hurts because of yeah, the stones. Yes, uh -huh. exactly. Okay. okay. Now, can we hear from Isaac? Isaac, what do you have there, Isaac? Ah. ah it's ready. It's good. This is clay, teacher, uh -huh. and there is nothing else but very fine soil particles. Okay, ah. all right. I'm going to I'm going to lift this up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's correct. Okay, this is clay, and there's nothing else but fine, very fine soil soil particles. Right, ah. they're very fine, teacher. Yes, but sometimes, uh, is there the solid form or no? The uh, sometimes it's like meshed together like yes. a rock. Ah, is it exactly. True? Um, they are actually the same, but when they are wet mm -hmm. and they are clumped together, mm -hmm. they will look like rocks. But they are oh. actually clay, and you can, when it is dry, you can just do it like that, and uh -huh. it will become ah, very fine. Very fine. Okay. Ah, okay. Right. Now let's move on to our second exploration. Okay, Kak Shafika. Yes. Ah, here I have. Um, the three types of soil, but again, I have two uh, different types of um, sand here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going to show you the first one is the garden soil. Right. Uh, it's a bit murky here, yes. uh, but you can see uh, there are some uh, dead plants on top. On top, it's floating. Uh, it's floating. Mm -hmm. Why is it floating? Because it is less dense it than is. the rest. Less dense than the water. Water, right. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. if you can see, okay, wait, I'm going to show you. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see the blackish part here. Those are actually uh, decaying animals. Decaying uh, animals. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that ah. means they will become darker when they yes, decay. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And then we have our soil particles. Mm -hmm. And at the bottom here are actually uh, the smaller stones. Uh, small stones. Ah, ah. small stones. Okay. Teacher Nina, why yep. do we uh, put it in water for this purpose okay, today? Okay, because when we look at um, soil on land, we cannot see the layers. Oh, right. Uh, so when we put it in a jar like this, okay. put in some water and we shake it and let it sink. I ah, see. So this is actually the layers, the natural layers underground. Wow, ah, very smart idea. Okay. So <laughs> here, the this is the uh, again the sand from the beach. Uh, we cannot see anything else but uh, sand particles and also small stones. Right. Uh, this one is also sand. But you can see here the layers are different. Yes, there's a few ah, layers there. See? Uh, and down here are the smaller stones. Smaller stones. Uh, this one up here are uh, soil particles that are quite fine. I see. So the soil particles is on top because it's yes. less denser ah, yes. than the stone particles. Yes, exactly. Okay. okay. And last but not least, ah, this is the clay. Mm -hmm. The clay that maybe we would like to play, not your um, typical store-bought clay. clay. This is the original clay. It still works God-given clay. <laughs> ah, see? Isn't it nice? It looks very nice. And it is mushy, actually. Uh, you can... Yeah, I wish I can... Uh -huh. Show the texture. <laughs> yeah. I, we okay, can may already I, see it all right, here, okay, actually. May I? I think um, I'm going to use this. Uh -huh. okay. Take out some a ah. bit. Wow. Do you want to see? It looks kind of oh. like a paste. Yeah, like a paste. Mm -hmm. ah, so, can you see? Alright, I'm going to show you uh, the dry clay and the wet clay. Mm -hmm. ah, can you see the difference? Ah. Can you see that, kids? Uh -huh. Looks very different, actually. Okay, yes. Alright. Isn't this great? I really love play. Okay, Kashafika, I really yes. want to feel with my fingers. May I? Oh, no, you can. <laughs> but um, we have to put some things aside. <laughs> it might be a bit All right. um, messy. Yes, this is science. This is science. Hands yes. on. When we touch and feel, we will understand more. Okay, mm -hmm. so 
when I touch this, uh, the clay, it is very fine and I can feel um, it is not sticky at all. Okay. But once we add in water, of course, it will be... Okay, I'm going to touch this last. Okay. Right. <laughs> and this is the grains or uh, the sand particles from the sand. Can I touch it too? Because you, I see you <laughs> having so much fun. Okay, please do, Shafika. Don't worry, I have tissue. Don't worry. <laughs> Okay. Ah, okay, this is a, a bit coarser than the clay. Yes, the clay is very fine. Ah, yes. Which is why teacher Nina, sometimes when it's raining because it's wet, uh -huh. our mothers are like, don't play outside in the rain. Yes. Because if it's dry, it's not so dirty. Yes, exactly. But if it's like this, wow. Well, our shoes are going to get so dirty. <laughs> yes. And then I remember sometimes our mothers put on some clay on their face. The white kind of ah, one? Yeah. Ah, yeah. So it, it is the same. That means when it is wet, it is like a paste. Okay. Uh, but when it is dry, it, it's just like the clay. It's very fine particles. Right. Okay, this is the garden soil. When we touch it, it's a bit wet. It's always a bit wet. Mm -hmm. Ah, so that is uh, why it is very um, suitable to grow plants. Right, ah. so the water inside it is, it keeps the water longer. Yes, uh -uh. See, very okay. interesting. Now I want to taste, okay. taste, no not taste, but I want to touch Try. this. Okay, mm -hmm. ooh, ah, see, it's a bit sticky. Right, ah. I am pretty ooh, sure a I lot like, of people like ooh. to do this. It is dirty, but then hmm, <laughs> we can always wash our hands after this. The yes. thing is, we learn something. Right, right. Nina, <laughs> okay. I, I want to do this as well All right. because um, we need to have a bit of time to have some fun yes. while we're exploring. But we're going to go for a short break because I need to wash my hands first. <laughs> okay. And we'll be right back on Teroka Didi TV KPM. See you then. Didi TV KPM. Dede TV KPM In nature, water is filtered through layers of soil, sand, rock and other natural materials like leaves. Technology copies this natural way and helps households to have clean water. With us on Troka Didi TV KPM, still with Kak Pika and also teacher Nina, we're learning science and exploring more about the Earth. Uh, today we've reached the end of the segment for today's program, but do not fret, you can still watch us on the playback on our YouTube channel and TV7 Malaysia to watch Teroka back on our topic today, the Earth. All right, kids, before we start and move further with our exploration today, Kak Pika is very, very excited to learn about something on this table. Let's take a look. Wow, oh, teacher, that makes okay. me so thirsty. <laughs> You're thirsty? <laughs> yes. All right, this is actually a natural water filter wow. that God has created. But you made it on your yeah, own? Yeah, we can always emulate whatever is natural that God has given us so that we can improve our lives and take the cues for us to make some innovations. Oh. Uh, this is very easy, there's no not much technology in this. But this is actually a water filter. Okay, I see. if you can see here, uh, at the top part here is a smaller, uh, sorry, bigger stones, mm -hmm. and then we have smaller stones, smaller stones? and um, sand. Oh, okay, dark sand. sand. Yes, oh. and also we have we use um, cotton, or if you don't have cotton, you can use clothes. Clothes. Ah, ah yes. Nice. All right. So then, what it can do is it, it can actually filter. Um, murky water. I see. Okay, let's try. Yeah. I really hope this works. Let's okay, you can try. see here we have some not very clean water. Maybe mm -hmm. you go for us. Um, you go into the forest or uh, you go hiking, and suddenly you realize you have not. You don't have enough water. Wow. And you can only find uh, water in the river. Uh -huh. And then we can use. This. Okay, let's oh, compare. So ah. interesting. Okay, let's compare the water filtered using this very simple um, 
water filter mm -hmm. and the original uh, murky water. Teacher, I, yeah. I have a question. Yes. If we go in the forest and let's say we go camping, mm. that means we can bring our own invention. Yes, we don't need to bring, we can make it there. Wow, oh, yeah, because it's You can using... use whatever t-shirt or mm -hmm. clothes you have. Okay. And then you make the first layer and then you put on sands and smaller stones and bigger stones wow. and voila. But if mm -hmm. you want to drink, you must make sure you boil it first. Oh, need Even to though boil it first. is um, clearer okay. uh, than the original one, but you still need to kill the germs or microorganisms inside oh. the water. You still need to boil it. Remember, guys, okay. remember to boil water before you drink it. Okay. All right. Oh, mm -hmm. gosh, Vika, we forgot yes. something before. What did okay. we forget? <laughs> this one. That's so much fun. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> okay, I, I really need to show this. Okay, mm -hmm. just now we did the contents or the layers of soil. Okay. Right, so this is uh, the layer of garden soil. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have decaying plants, animals, sand particles, and small stones. All right. Okay, here, next one. Okay, next uh, one. Next one is the sand. Again, water, mm -hmm. sand particles, and small, small stones. stones. But what about clay? Mm -hmm. Ah, just two layers, water and very, very fine, fine soil particles. particles. All ah, right. Okay, Kak Shafika, I think we have to wrap up everything. Yes, we do. But I'm sure at the same time, mm -hmm. perhaps we can ask one pupil one. Okay. Uh, to tell us what they observe from here. All right, okay. Ah, who okay. would like to try? Uh, who wants to try? Okay, uh, can we hear from uh, um, Nazim? Nazim. Nazim, uh, from this water filter. Mm -hmm. What uh, can you see? What can you see here, Nazim? Uh-huh. Maybe the colour. Can you see a difference in the colour? Oh, okay. All right. Uh, can we try Isaac then? Isaac. All right. Okay, Isaac. Isaac, please make your observation. What can you see mm -hmm. here? The filtered water. Right. Ah, okay. All right. Isaac, are you ready? Can you say something about this filtered water? Okay, Isaac. Aha. Uh -huh. Clearer. Clearer. Okay, yes, the filtered water is clearer. Wow. The filter. Yes, Isaac. Hmm. It is clearer. Okay. Yes, very good. I totally good. agree, Teacher okay. Nina. And for me, I uh -huh. was about to drink that. <laughs> <laughs> but remember, kids, like Teacher Nina said just yeah. now, we have to boil the water. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, unfortunately, we've reached the end of the program. Oh. But Teacher Nina, it was so lovely uh, exploring with you today. And I'm very sure a lot of pupils out there and also online have had so much fun. Perhaps you can have a short and sweet uh, recap of what we've learned today. Okay, so for all human beings and maybe aliens from outer space now we have learned about what we have on earth what god has given us we have to be very thankful because we have so many things to explore and learn that is the beauty of science go on explore touch feel so that you will learn a lot better right i totally agree sometimes when we see with our eyes we don't know exactly about something like the soil we go closer we touch it then we know a lot yes. more and after this teaching you now we can also tell the difference yes uh, exactly. between mountains and hills mm -hmm. between valleys and the texture of the sand and soil and also garden soil as well all right kids i hope you all have had a fun lesson today we're gonna wrap up through Kedidit TV with a very nice performance from Teacher yeah, Nina okay. and uh, she's going to recite a very nice poem. Take the floor, Teacher Nina. All right. Mm -hmm. May I go to the front, Kat Shafika? Okay. Right, and I'll okay. be here cheering you like, right, okay. like a cheerleader. <laughs> I'm going to recite a poem called My Malaysia from Daya Nandan. My land of birth, this land I love. Malaysia, the blessed land from God above. Many have given their lives for this land which I lived and grew. To protect it, courage within and weapons our soldiers drew. Many have shed blood for our beloved land, died in battles and fought hand in hand. Regardless of our religion, skin color, or race, 
we must protect Malaysia, our birthmarked place. My beautiful home since I was born, my country that my love has been sworn, my motherland of all its beauty and greatness, the home of mine by act of fate. For you, Malaysia, great patriotism lies in my heart. It flows in my veins, a countryman's greatest art. And as long as our people love and fight for you, the skies of our freedom will always remain blue. The word Merdeka is far from just a public holiday. Our day of liberty, when freedom was restored to stay, in honour of brave men that fought for it with their lives, dodging little bullets and fighting against knives. Leaving their families behind while fighting for our motherland, taking wounds in many battles just to make our country stand. And when people ask you, where are you from? Be it from Europe or Asia, look at them and proudly say, Aku anak Malaysia.